All right, there are my two eight foot lengths. Now, using the Display Wars calculator, I put in 235 to one ultra wide, and I was throwing sizes at it until the width indicator came up exactly 96 inches, which is what these are. These are precisely 96 inches. And that actually equates to 104.325 inches wide. So that's how big the screen's gonna be. It's gonna be diagonally 104.325, and I get to say that exact number. And I did this calculation because I need to figure out the, the height of the sides because I have to cut that piece over there. I have to cut two lengths for there and there, and they gotta go between the aluminum that's there. So the height, according to this, is 40.85 inches. Fuck uses a decimal place in inches. Well, okay. So I went and I searched Google and 40.85 inches, I'll use millimeters because my tape measure uses millimeters. And for something this precision, I don't want to be doing guessing at fractions and half of fractions. So we got 1,037.59 millimeters. So I rounded up to 1,038 millimeters. And then I realized, well, I got to take away the thickness of the two pieces because that's 40 millimeters and that's 40 millimeters because they're 40 millimeters. So 1,038 minus 80 is 958 millimeters. So, came over here. I killed an inch on the end of this because, see how that, like, moves? Like a bit. So I started from one centimeter. I went 168. Marked it. Used my square. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And now it's time to cut this. I have an A next to the most accurate side because I measured once and I rotated and just corrected it, just continued it, but this is the side I measured, so I'm going to cut down that side. Everything good here? Cat's asleep. She won't be for long. Uh, I've got my patented shoe silencer system on. Here we go. Now I gave a little sample cut just to make sure I wasn't gonna kill myself. Just a little baby bit. And metal went everywhere. So I don't have high hopes for this vacuum actually doing anything. And uh actually can clamp this down here. I've got me these bore actually I don't really need the boards because it is fully on there. If I went out long I had boards set up. Now this has a laser, this cobalt, and it's actually pretty accurate. So I'm just going to completely cover my pencil mark with the laser. Mm. Leave that on, and I'm going to clamp this way as well. So. I now have it clamped. Down and in, and this does, this clears the motor, which is nice. We've got the vacuum running. This is the noisiest, smelliest chop saw ever, and now I'm about to cut something with it. So here we go. Look at the metal everywhere. Vacuum did nothing. Oh, what a mess. Now I gotta wash my shoes. I don't drag this into my carpet and walk around barefoot at one point. Yeah, so cutting aluminum is a mess. I don't recommend it indoors. I am wearing safety goggles and have hearing protection in, so. I don't know how it's coming out on your end. Actually, that's loaded with aluminum shavings. I'm gonna vacuum off camera and we'll talk. All right, here's the frame. I haven't assembled it yet, obviously. I'm gonna finish cutting everything. And here are the two pieces that go for the L's. And now, right now, with on camera, I have to decide 
the precise distance from the wall. Or wall I want. So I calculated to 18. Now it's going to be, if I cut 18 inches off of this, then the other piece is going to attach to the face of it because I don't want to see the end of it. So it's going to be a face situation. And that means it'll actually be somewhere around 19 and 3 quarter. But 18 to the back of the screen plus the bracket. Got to figure the bracket's going to add, if I put wood or anything behind it, who knows. So yeah, we got 18. Now does that put enough room? Here, let me lock this for you people. Is 18 enough room behind the screen? It means the center channels have to be all back there if, I, if I'm going to do anything back. Now, this monster tower, if I wanted to use the projection screen with something like this stupid shit, let me show you some stupid shit. I'd have to move them out. Now, keep in mind, we're going eight feet wide. Here's the size of the screen. So if that came down in front of everything, everything has to be at least from the mid window over. That's where speakers have to live, mid window and over. That's fine. That one there is fine. Obviously, they're too far back. They're just there for temporary things. But there's no way I'd be able to get anything down with Monster Tower. She doesn't play in the cat house. She wanted to play in the box. The cat house came in. It's so sad. So now, do I bump it out of the block? Because here's here's the thing. As big as this screen is, it's not it's not sickeningly huge, right? I was gonna go ten feet wide. That's been two feet wider than this. I can't even fathom it. I would have had to order real ridiculously special pieces. Now Thank God that track lighting is there because there would be no way to put speakers. It would have been like speakers would have been against the wall to get left and right past the display, which is a big thing. You're doing a lot of see a lot of people do it. They put their left, their left, center, and right directly behind the screen. And if you ever watch a movie, left and right channels, nothing's happening on screen with that except for maybe an explosion. As far as like people talking, center. Gunshots on screen, center. Left and right channels only activate when something leaves the screen. When it passes that, then the sound happens. So you always want to try to get your speakers beyond the limits of your screen, no matter how big your screen is. That's why I don't like going to the movies, like the movie movies. Because the screen is there, and the speakers are behind it. And you could tell when something's happening to the left, it's just like, okay, move to the left of the part I could still fucking see. It needs to go, if I built a movie theater, like a pearl movie theater, it would be try. Everyone would sit in a triangle. There'd be no back corners in my movie theater. Everything would be just pizza shapes. There'd be like three chairs in the back, and then three chairs, and four chairs, and four chairs, and five. And it would just go out and out and out. And then at some point it would stop so that you're not sitting like a ridiculous retard in the corners. But the left and right speakers would be well outside the screen, and you would just go, Whoa. oh man. Someone give me a million dollars to build a professional home theater, a professional movie theater. I, I can do it. I can make it better, stronger, faster. Built to hurt. Now, so I'm just avoiding deciding now. I could come out two feet. I could literally come out two feet with the screen. Have the screen come down right here, which would be not terrible. Where do I want my speaker sitting? I don't want my speakers really recessed behind the screen, so they're going to be about, yeah. So two feet still still is good for that. That would mean I'd come out 20, I'd cut 22 inches, 22 inches, 20 inches, 21 inches. Now i got to worry about the, um, the lifters, which, by the way, did come in. Blew my mind after that first part of that video. These arrived. Here they are. Now, these are trunk lifters. I'm not sure if there's a preferred orientation to these, because they are fluid-filled and activated. Do not open, do not overheat. I'll show you what kind of force we're looking at. And this is a pop-in ball joint, which I'm gonna have to mount to the side of the thing. And here is the swiveling other ball joint, and that's gonna get mounted to the wall and then up and clip. And then we should have a bit of this going on. Nice and straight, I wanna bend this. And then she's up at the wall, up at the ceiling. So two of those should be enough. And if it's not two of them, is, if two of them is not enough, I'll just order another two, and then I'll have two on each side. And if that's not enough, I'll order another two. No, I won't ever do that. That'll be ridiculous. 
All right, I've made my decision. We're coming out a little more. We're going 20 inches instead of 18. I will cut that. See, if I cut it 20, then the whole screen, then the actual bar going down sits at 20 to 22. I'm assuming it's two inches, it's not. Cutting at 20, the vertical column is 20 to 22, and the screen sitting in front of that, and that'll be 22 to 24. The screen will sit here, and the verticals will sit here, and we'll sit here. All right. I gotta get my tape, mark these up, and then cut them. You saw the cutting, it didn't, it actually cuts really good. It cuts like butter. If butter turned into sharp metal shavings that flew everywhere. It's gonna take a lot of vacuuming. I do not want to have that shit tra tra yeah. traced in here, trailed in here. Get mad. All right, so that's laid out, those pieces are cut. I'm gonna assemble this frame. Now, this is when people start to screw up when they do this stuff. Now you could, you could pre-assemble all these brackets here on a table. You need, if I'm doing four corners, which is what I'm doing, I need eight bolts, eight lock washers, eight washers or more, because if you look, these brackets are thicker on one side than the other. And I didn't take that into account when I ordered the bolts. So if the bolts are too long, if they travel through too far, they might come out the bottom of the nut and it's gonna be bad news bears. So I could just stack washers on top. Now, another thing you gotta know, is that when you put these in, you've got to put one in before you put one in. In other words, they're going to get in each other's way. Also, I'm not sure if I have the right size Allen for this. I don't know if I want to use my torque wrench or not. Or my impact gun. No. Oh. You'll get our own video soon. Now, what I do know, right, so the thicker end I'm going to assemble. And I'm just going to check down there once I get everything set up so number one is lock washer number two is washer is it all the same yeah they're all the same i'm going to pop that through the thicker end and then i'm going to thread on a nut meow just enough to get it to hang on there and i'm going to do that for all of them and if you notice how many nuts i have here it's not eight four things Eight bolts, eight lock washers, washers, and then 12 of these. Now, let me tell you what you're going to do wrong, because I can predict the future. If I assembled this whole thing, all four corners done, tightened, precision lined up, now I'm going to go mount it to the L's coming off the wall. So those are going to have these in them, two of them in there. One to attach to the bottom, one to attach to the top. Where are they attaching to? Oh shit, I didn't put the nuts in the track. That's what these emergency nuts are for, in case you screw up. These are narrower, actually no, these are them. These are narrower, and they could sort of wiggle into the track. Will they work just fine? Sure. But wouldn't you rather have the full nuts? So, when I'm after I've assembled one side, I've got to go to the end and slide two of these just into the track somewhere. So that when I'm ready to mount it, <coughs> separate them out find them and bolt into them. If you don't do it now, you're going to really go fuck later. And everyone wants to avoid the loud fuck. You know the fuck I'm talking about, that just blood curdling eye screwed up and it's going to take 25 minutes to correct this mistake. Sort of scream? Yeah. No. Why couldn't you be a blonde and human... Five, three. She'd be too needy. What am I saying? She'd be fucking too needy. What are you doing with that screen? Pay attention to me. Do you like the way I clean the litter box? Me. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to assemble these. Well, four of them. Then I'm going to get down on all fours, which I know you people have been waiting for a long time, you sickos. And uh, put this together. At some point, there'll be a sub crawl. And if you haven't noticed, there's a second Martin Logan Dynamo 300. So now they're in stereo. They're in stereo with those fucking PSAs. You should really come to the other channel to watch all this crazy stuff. Yeah, she's bored. All right. Uh, you can only put one at a time, because here's what happens if I put the second one in. 
and it's real hard to get to the first one. So, I wish these brackets, I mean, they make bigger brackets, they make double brackets, but, uh, A, the double brackets would be overkill in this situation. Well, maybe not. I guess double brackets may have been beneficial for this, considering the size, but the singles will hold. And besides, since I'm going to have corners and then one, two, three, four, also in the center holding it, I don't think there's going to be any, any issues at all. Yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. And actually, it would be a pain in the butt here, too, if you did that one. You have to do that one first, or else these two block a straight line of sight. If you did those two first, then you would go to do the bottom, and you'd be screwed. Get it? You'd be screwed. Oh, my God. So, here are the four brackets I have assembled. Well, halfway assembled. I'm going to go drop the extra four correct nuts into the track. And then I'm going to put those on. And then I'm going to put the other two on. And then I'm going to see if I have the actual thing to tighten these down. That would be great. a great thing to have is the tool for these. Not 100% sure of the actual 12.9 YFS. Oh my god, the difficulty of assembly. Command, if you're going to use this stuff in any future projects, order like a one foot piece of every dimension they have. It'll probably cost you 40, 50 bucks. Then you can just be like, hmm, 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 and then you can pick one. Things to do. It's mean. It's mean of me to not include you guys in this floor. Floor stuff. The floor stuff's the good stuff. You gotta always work to dead mouse. Always. Improves productivity. I read that somewhere. Now we're just going to rough assemble, we're not going to tighten anything down. That's a little too tight. There we go. I'm just going to hand, just sort of feel back here, it should line up and then just hand tighten. Most definitely polyester. If we look, here are the two nuts. One, two. Oh, I'll tighten that in first, probably. Those are in the way. It's like up on top. We could have assembled this while I was sitting. That would have been easier. Unless me rolling around on the floor ish. What the hell good is that? My GoPro pointing. Is it too far down? I can't even tell. This is a new angle for me. Slime hole. God damn it. Keyboard. Now, depending on how crazy this is, I'm gonna have to slide these both at the same time.
and tighten them both at the same time on my superhuman. All right. Now remember, you're not gonna be able to tighten those once these are in, so make sure you fully tighten these, and I did. Thread locker isn't a bad idea, but I'm full of isn't a bad ideas. One corner at a time. Again, we're just going by feel on this. I'm not sure if they want you to use a torque wrench. Wow, I need a vacuum. The litter box is leaking out of here. My finger's purple for some reason. I also just got the email on my phone that uh, the mattress is coming today, so I gotta finish this. This is so much better than wood. Oh God. Large parties, they're so intimate. Small parties, there isn't any privacy. Okay. Yeah. I apologize. Factors of the speakers. Edge of tomorrow. Now, if I want to be super badass, so here's the thing it's going to be edgeless, there's not going to be any black. So the actual projected image is going to go to the millimeter to the edge. And that's so that I can overshoot my 16 by 9 projector over the top without you noticing it, although it's going to hit the verticals. Now, when I actually mount the screen material, it's going to have to wrap around and either get pressed in on the side or pressed in on the back. We've got these nice channels. If I was able to cut this here, then I'll be able to put a solid bead. Like when you put a screen in, you ever put a screen in a window? Is that rubber? like? cylindrical stuff, you just put the screen across the channel and press it down around it. I may be able to do the same thing with this. Maybe. I gotta go to the hardware store with my little extra piece and I gotta see if anything will squeeze in there. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. She's not impressed. I is ready for TV. Game of Thrones! Well, in a turn of events that I didn't prepare for, but it's not bad, it's not bad. It's just that these only go one direction. And this side, the side with these central, central pins, is a side that can rotate in any orientation. And this side can only go vertical, which means this side has to go on the screen body. There, 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 and there. I have put them on already. And that also means that these are the ones that have to be screwed in first, because they're the ones that are closest to the edge. Now... That means I have to, right now, make my, I say final, but it could always be just unscrewed for an hour and change, but I have to pick the width, and you're going to say, oh, well, just put it right here in the middle of that. And I would say yes, except I've got to deal with placement of these zombies, uh, whether I'm going on the side of the thing, or if I'm going to, I really can't go to the center because, unless I built a thing that went the same. There's, there's considerations that have to be made because I kind of want to just tighten these down now. So I'm probably going to measure this, measure that, find the center of this, find the center of that, and figure out I got to go, okay, from the center point here, 23 inches to the right, 
and 23 inches to the left, or if you want to go millimeters, then I'm just going to go center point, 23 Titan, 23 Titan, 23 Titan, 23 Titan. And that way, because then what's going to happen is the L's are going to be assembled, mounted to the walls, just, just alone, and then I'm going to pick the screen up, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then screen's done. Well, other than the material, we'll eventually get to the actual screen material. That'll probably be next week at some point. But uh, this stuff is awesome. It's like Legos, but probably cheaper. I'm not joking. I want to buy a Lego bulldozer. It's $70. It's about this big. It's got a little four-cylinder engine. 67 is the cheapest it's ever been, and I have it in my Amazon cart. It just keeps dropping or going way up. So this is stuff is cheaper than Legos and more fun. And makes a whole lot more aluminum bullshit all over the floor. So yeah, that's just a little thing that I'm now stopped. Like I can't I could just assemble the entire thing completely. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the L's on that just to see how they mount. But then I can't put this screen onto it unless I'm ready to put the screen onto it. Or else I'm doing three things three, four times in a row backwards. Boop! 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 How could I not write her off? She's a write-off. I gotta feed that or else I'd be depressed. Alright, back to this next week sometime when I have the balls to start anchoring into that wall, which is gonna be a nightmare. Gotta do more research. Alright, just to show off the completed frame. So this is... This is it. This is it sitting here doing its thing. Now, obviously not mounted to the wall. I can... No, well, I could pick it up. If I wanted to pick it up, but it's sitting nicely on those blocks of wood. Approximately, exactly, approximately where it's going to be. And I actually put the projector on at some point and had it trying to see how well I'm going to be able to line it up, and it's going to be a lot of anal tinkering just to get the pixels to die right on the edges. But uh, here it is, assembled, in orientation and the depth away from the wall, uh, roughly as high as it needs to go because i got to take this into account. I've ordered some 2-inch black felt tape uh, because it has to go here. Because even if I put... You know, my screen material is going to be audio transparent, but that usually means it's also light shines through it. And if light hits shiny aluminum, uh, anything that's bright is going to be just super bright around the edges. So this is getting a full... Actually, every every surface of aluminum you see from this side, the verticals, these verticals behind the screen, everything there is getting blackout tape, blackout felt put on it. And also, when I put it on this, I'm going to... Uh, but obviously this isn't two inches, it's just slightly less, but it's going to buy it. I'm going to fold it on the inside because I don't want it on the outside. And when I put the material over it, stretch the material over it, and then do my uh, stuffing either front or back, it's probably going to be back, but don't, don't lead out top and side because, uh, yeah, yeah. It's sitting perfectly vertical, it just... The weight of those is keeping it on there. Mm -hmm. I've got some samples of some spandex coming. I want to try something new and different at ease.